Hi guys, welcome to another Box Spotlight and today we're having a look at yet another Thermal Expansions block and this time it's the, let's have a look, the Induction Smelter. Now, as we can see here, uh, the interface is a little different. We have two input slots here. Obviously this bit on the left, as I've said previously, uh, for the other blocks is the power stored. So any amount of power that you have stored in here is going to basically queue up in here. Now we have two input blocks, uh, slots, should I say, not blocks, uh, a primary output and a secondary output. And we have our power inputs here, it will take up to nine Minecraft joules a tick and store presumably enough to process uh, a stack of stuff. Uh, it will take several different things to do its thing. Uh, your redstone control here, which I really love the fact that you can change all this so you can decide how it's going to work with redstone signals. Really, really handy. Now, the configuration here now, this is it set as default, and as default by default, you have uh, the left side and the back are both your inputs and they will both insert into these slots here uh, you have your secondary output on the top and the primary output on the right hand side now you can change this this is um, what you could do for instance you could take that output off the top and make this a combined output so all your output is on the right hand side uh, you can actually target these input slots separately so you could for instance put uh, the left hand one of those on that left hand slot and on the back you could make that purple so you have uh, you can insert into that slot by putting on the left side and into that slot by putting in the back and then all your output is going to come out the right hand side or again you could separate that out so you've got uh, your, your primary, your secondary output on the top and it's interesting to note you can right click to go back if you go too far on your clicking you can go back through the colours by right clicking and this one can be our yellow which is our primary output so really really configurable set of uh, ways to get stuff in and out of this which is really really nice do like that now the recipe for this we have a bucket on the top of the machine chassis and the redstone power coil which seem to be staple components for a lot of these machines so far um, we have sand on either side of that as well now sand is a key component for this smelter as we, you will find out right now. Now I've had this going for a while so we should have a decent amount of energy in there and we do. Now the interesting thing to note is that this will take those pulverized doors that we get from the pulverizer um, but what you'll notice is that it's not actually doing anything with them and the reason it's not doing anything with them is because it needs to combine it with sand so this machine needs sand to run and as you see for each pulverized door we're going to get two gold or two ingots and what was that down there I think it was a slag slag so that's Billcraft's or therm thermal expansions way of doubling your rules so it will do that if you just put in um, let's see how that's going to work uh, so you don't even need to pulverize that's interesting to note but obviously if you do pulverize you get a chance of getting the rare earth um, out so you can just go straight for the iron ores here you don't need to pulverize double up and you get slag in the process and slag itself will have a use um, I've not looked into what that use is just yet but I'm sure I will get around to covering that at some point 
So there you go, two copper out of that. Did we get any uh did we get any slag out of the copper? Not sure. Probably not, no. Tin work the same way. Did we get anything out of just the tin I think. Oh no, you do get slag, so actually for looks like for tin and copper it's best not to pulverize. Or you get the choice you pulverize and get um get a chance of a rare earth. Um or or you put it straight through the smelter and get your slag out of it. Now it won't work with dusts from IC two and they've said it never will. And this is because your dusts are already doubling up your ores. This is the answer, uh, Billcraft's answer to doubling ores. So they don't want you able to do that. Um, which is fair enough. Got to keep things balanced. There we go. So we should have a load of slag up there. And then our output's out here. Very nice way of doing things. Uh, let's have a quick look actually. See what the recipes... Uh, so you can actually put slag into a furnace and get rock wool. And I gather this rock wool uh, is like regular wool, looks identical. The difference is it doesn't burn. Uh, so that's, that's one way of getting that. Might be uh, a better idea to build with the rock wool than uh, regular wool. So there we have it, the induction smelter. Another extremely useful machine. It's the answer to uh, almost the answer to the macerator and the induction furnace in one, uh, with some extra added goodies by producing some secondary outputs as well. So there we go, guys. Uh, any corrections you'd like to let me know about? Feel free to do it in the comments below. Uh, hit the like button and subscribe above, and follow me on Twitch and Twitter and all the fun stuff so you can see when my videos go up and also when I go live.